So this is going to be a brief introduction to addition of fractions with like denominators. So just a very quick look at fractions. So you might have, oops, very messy. You might have this. All right, now I am sure you've come across these terms before, but just in case, these are some terms you're going to have to remember. This is called the numerator. And this is the denominator. Numerator and denominator. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at addition of fractions that have the same denominator. Three quarters is not a really good fraction to use for this, so I'm going to change my fraction to something else. Let's imagine you've got, uh, let's have three sevenths plus one seventh. Now, if you've never done addition of fractions before, you would be tempted to do this. Three plus one is four, 7 plus 7 is 14. Alas, that's wrong. But that is the classic mistake. Okay, so I'm going to show you now what to do and I'm going to show you why it works. The cardinal rule, the thing to remember is this. I think I'll write it in red. The denominator stays the, the what? The same. The denominator stays, stays the same. Very important to remember. If we were doing this in class, you would be hearing me saying the denominator stays the same a lot. But on paper or on screen, there it is in red. The denominator stays the same. Okay. Now, keeping that in mind, this becomes a very simple addition. Let me just get rid of this. All right, so the numerator, 3 plus 1 is 4, and the denominator stays the same, 4 sevenths. 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh is 4 sevenths. You can think of it in terms of dogs or cats. 3 cats plus 1 cat is 4 cats. 3 dogs plus 1 dog is 4 dogs. 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh is 4 sevenths. If you understand that principle, you've just learned how to add fractions where the denominators are the same, but I will take a little bit of time now to kind of give you the rationale behind it. Okay, so let's draw what that would look like. I'm going to do two, two boxes, and then I'm going to divide them up into sevenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And another one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these rectangles are divided into seven equal parts. So each of these parts is one seventh. Okay. And the first number here is three sevenths. So if I was illustrating that, it would look like this. One, two, three sevenths. And this one, one seventh, would look like this. All right, that's one seventh colored in. Now, if I put them together, you'll see what happens. And now let's count the number of sevenths which are colored in. One, two, three, four, out of seven altogether. One seventh, one seventh, one seventh, one seventh, one seventh, one seventh, one seventh. Oops. <laughs> one seventh. Okay, so three sevenths plus one seventh equals four sevenths. Pretty simple logic. Okay, so attached to this video, there are some worksheets. I don't think you're going to have any problems. This is kind of like the basic level. We'll start to build up the complexity, we'll do some subtractions, we'll do some what they call mixed numbers, and then we'll get to what about if the denominators are different. But that's another story.